we're back. It is uh, still December 16th, 2018, but now it's 3.17 a.m. for those early birds out there. Forgot to mention this in the last video, and in fact, probably better to make it a separate video, but for our astronomy friends out there, um, and for those of you that have been following my channel long enough, you know I've done space videos in the past, been obviously focusing more on um, Earth weather, but this is certainly something I like to talk about and discuss um, at any given time, uh, we have a comet, in, a, in particular Comet 46P, which is currently visible um, in some areas with the naked eye. Now, this was uh, actually visible around December 1st, and as we approach literally tonight, Sunday, uh, this coming night, uh, will be the brightest that this comet uh, will be in the sky. So for those astronomers out there that like to get out there and see these types of things, we just had an amazing meteor shower. Um, some areas will get to see this with the naked eye, some won't. It depends on light pollution, uh, where in the country you live. In fact, I have a picture pull up here. This was on the thumbnail. You can kind of get an idea of the areas uh, which will get the best view of this. Um, it doesn't mean that you can't see it from these areas. It's just a lot harder to see based on the Earth's orientation at the time of Sunday night when this comet is um, at its peak as far as visibility. Now, you're going to see more of like a green blob. It's not going to look like your typical comet with a long tail, uh, like some of the bigger comets like Ison we saw and, and uh, comets like that, but uh, still... This is um, a very significant comment. I'm going to read some stats to you. Uh, wait, let's see. I have one more picture pulled up. This is where the comet was actually beginning to be visible. It was down um, in November. So just before Thanksgiving, this thing was in view to Earth in some areas. And you could see here, even though the comet's pointing this way, the direction it's moving is this way. And these numbers here represent the date. If it's a little hard to see, I'll zoom in for you here. Uh, there we go. So you can see here by December 10th, it was kind of parallel with Orion's belt. And now as we approach the 16th, which we're at now, so tonight, um, if you look towards Orion, it's going to be in Taurus, um, in between Orion and uh, Pallades star cluster. That's that star cluster that you can kind of see. Uh, it's right here. If you look with your peripheral vision, you can see this a lot better than when you can... Uh, look directly at it. This is going to be the same situation with this comet for a lot of people, unless, of course, you're using binoculars or a telescope, then you'll be able to see it much clearer, obviously. And then, like I said, cloud coverage, uh, light pollution, things of that nature will limit your visibility of it. But it's a very interesting comet because of uh, some of the stats here I'm going to read to you. Um, it was discovered in 1948. Uh, the thing is only less than a mile. It's like 0.6 or 0.7 uh, miles in size, so fairly small comet, no threat to hitting Earth, but uh, the distance um, is pretty interesting. It's 7,100,099 427. So 7,199 427. That's over 7 million miles away, about 30, 30 times the distance of the moon. Um, the closest pass in 400 years is the one we are going to be witnessing tonight. Uh, which is very interesting. Um, it's the 20th closest comet in 12 centuries. So in the last 1,200 years, this is the closest comet uh, approach that we have been able to see here from Earth. Um, it orbits the sun every 5.4 years and then uh, passes Earth every 11 years. So it kind of has that catch-up uh, situation going on where the Earth will rotate. Uh, while this thing has a consistent 5.4 year rotation, the Earth catches up and then passes it. So about every 11 years we get to see this comet, but this is the closest it's been in centuries, they're saying. So um, like I said, best viewings are higher elevations. Um, central U.S. is going to be the hot spot to see this. Uh, there is some cloud coverage going on currently in the center of the country where it's most visible, which is unfortunate, so some people will not be able to see this. But again, last night was a good night to see it, and uh, the peak will be tonight. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to disappear overnight. Uh, we will be able to see it with uh, tools like telescopes and binoculars uh, for the next couple of weeks at least. And I believe uh, the channel Astronomy Live uh, did a pretty lengthy video where he actually uh, set his telescope up and his computer equipment to follow 
uh, this comet, which was pretty interesting. I watched a portion of that video. So if you guys want to go over to his channel, that's Astronomy Live. He actually has some uh, live coverage of this comet. If I'm not mistaken, I'm almost positive that's the comment he was looking at. But um, there is article after article about this. Uh, here is a time-lapse shot. Uh, I forget who this was taken by. Oh, this is courtesy of NASA. And then we have a picture by... I like to give credit to the people who take these uh, pictures. Uh, Christina Karen actually wrote this article, so she didn't take the picture. I thought I had one more pulled up here. Uh, maybe I didn't. All right, so uh, maybe we won't give credit to where the pictures were taken. Actually, yes, we will. Here we go. Nicholas Biever, B-I-E-V-E-R. Uh, this was taken in France, so this was earlier. Uh, article posted December 15th, and we'll look at this article to get some updated information on it. So Atlanta Fox says this, Sunday night might be a good night for a road trip outside to the city with a telescope, the Earth is about to get one of the closest visits from a comet in centuries. Uh, comet 46P, also known as the Christmas Comet, discovered in 1948, like we said, uh, over 7 million miles away from Earth, 30 times the distance to the moon. Uh, this is the closest it has been to our blue rock in 400 years. So um, although it does pass Earth every 11 years, this is the closest it's been. Um, it is the 20th closest approach of a comet in the past 12 centuries. We have already said that, sorry. Um, and to look for the comet, here we go, this is what I want to show you. To look for the comet, you will want to locate the Orion and Taurus constellations. It should follow them throughout the night. They will rise along the eastern horizon and ride across the night sky just overhead after 3 a.m. So we could be talking right now could be peak or if they're talking about into uh, Monday peak. So that's actually a little bit hard to understand there. So for those of you that have clear skies in the center of the country or anywhere for that matter, maybe you want to go take a look and see if you can hone in on this thing near Orion's belt. So if you see any little green fuzzy thing around Orion's belt near Taurus, you're looking at this um, Comet 46P. Uh, you can also see it with the naked eye, according to some people, if you are in the right conditions. Um, if you can't make it out of the city. Obviously, cities cause the light pollution. So, just a little update for you guys, for the astronomers out there that um, are into this stuff. I surely have my camera set up. It is a little cloudy. I don't think I'll be able to get any shots of this, unfortunately, but I will try. But um, just a little bit of interesting information for you guys out there. Uh, there we go. That's the comment right there. Um, it's going to be visible for the next couple days. But again, tonight is the peak. So uh, get out there. Take a look. If you're not in any of these congested areas here, you might get a good shot of this thing. And please feel free. If you guys get any good shots or any good video, you could send them to me. I will credit your channel. I'll credit uh, Instagram, YouTube, whatever you want to do. Um, if you want to send in pictures, I will uh, certainly feature them on the channel um, as I am very interested in this stuff. And just another quick view of the cloud coverage we're dealing with right now. Um, maybe a little bit of a gap in there uh, in the next couple hours. It, you might get a break and get out there and see it. So uh, there you go, guys. That's the update for now. I'm still working on that second half of the weather video. Um, oh, here are the pictures I was talking about. So Stuart Atkinson. Uh, he took this picture, um, got a little enhancements in there so we could see some of the brighter stars. And there is 46P right there. And the reason it looks like this without the tail is because it's kind of moving away from us. It's got um, the green vibe lights, which is why it's got the green color to it. Uh, let's see if there's any other real quick information that we should give out there before... Uh, we end this video. There you go. You can kind of see a streak right there. Like I said, it's not going to be like any of those uh, long tail comets that we're used to seeing um, in the past couple of years, but still very close to Earth. And uh, the green color obviously will look really cool if some of you get some good shots out there. So, all right, guys, that's it for now. Just wanted to let you know. Heads up. And I will be back with that weather update very soon. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good night. Bye-bye.